All right, so I wanted to demonstrate carving a tent peg. All right, this is just a piece of green sweet gum. First thing I'm going to do is chant for the top, the part that I'll hammer on when I drive it into the ground. And that will prevent it from mushrooming out doing that. That's it. Alright. This piece of wood is actually kind of oval, so I'm going to make my number 7 notch in it this way. Instead of going the flat side, then I'll, I'll cut through the diameter of the wood and weaken it up fast. I'm going to cut this way and that will give me a little bit more room. So to start with, all I do is just make a stock cut and then come in here at like a 45 degree angle and then work my stock cut. Coming in at an angle, stock cut, angle, and just continue that process until I create the number seven notch. And whenever I'm creating that for a tent peg, I try to never go past a third of the way through the diameter of the wood. So don't want to, no need to go too far, and I don't want to weaken my actual stake, the structure of my stake. And that's it. Create that little number seven notch there. And then the last part, basically, is just to sharpen it up. About the fastest way I found to do that is just come in here with the chest lever grip. Take off big chunks of wood safely. A lot of times, too, if you're doing this around other people, this will make it safer so you don't have your knife slinging out. This sweet gum is tough wood. That's actually what I'm carving on here, sweet gum. I guess that's good because it makes a good steak, strong, strong wood. It's not going to break easy last long. See, it doesn't have to be razor pin sharp. It's just got to be good enough to drive into the ground. And that's it. So you got a sharp point, number seven notch, chamfered the edge. That should work.